because I don't know if you guys see all the bird, I mean, all the um, dead bugs splattered all over my car. So I had to take my car through the car wash before I go home because that is so ew, ew, ew. So I'll see you guys in a minute. What's up, you guys? Hi, how everybody is doing? I hope everybody is doing good, doing great. Today is Saturday. So, of course, you already know how it goes. I am on my off day. My car sound crazy. But, um, so I run errands on my off days. So I have to go do some little things that I have to do today. And, and I decided I was going to have some me time. Like, me time. Period. So the girls, um are with their dad and I'm going to do some things that I need to do for me I have not had a pedicure in a while and a manicure so I'm gonna get I wanted to get some um, acrylics done but I don't know if you guys like braiding hair or whatever I don't know how to braid hair when I eat no matter how short I get the nails I cannot braid hair good with, with nails on so I decided I'm just gonna get a good little manicure and um, just keep buying my press ons, you know, when I wanna razzle dazzle it up for it, for myself. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go get some um, things that we need. I have to go get a turtle light bulb again. If you have a, any reptiles, can you guys tell me how often you have to change out the lights? Because Honey, I just bought that light. So I'm like, okay. So I just gotta go get another reptile light. Um, go and buy some keys because Trinity needs a key to get into the house. You guys, I am starting to feel like my baby is getting too old because she went out to a football game last night with her with her friend and her friend um, um aunt which is a teenager that's driving took them to the game and after they left the game they went to buffalo wild wings or whatever you know the after things that kid, you know teenagers preteens do and i was just like do i need to give her a curfew like I'm not even, I don't, you guys, I'm not, I don't know what to do. I don't want to be too strict. She didn't come in late or anything, but it was just like, I'm used to taking her to places and having to pick her up and knowing, knowing the time frame to pick her up. You know, and I know like, she's just 12. So I know what you guys think. Like she's 12. You can, you tell her when she come home, but it was just like, so when she came home last night, she rung the doorbell. You know, they came back from Buffalo Wild Wings or whatever. She got home by 10. So when she rung the doorbell, I had to come out of bed. It's because me and the other little ones, we stayed up watching movies. And um, they both were in my bed. And um, my husband, he was not home yet from work. So she came home and she rung the doorbell. And I was like, who is that, you know? <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, she's. Um, shouldn't it be 13 next year in March? So I kind of just want to just understand how you guys feel about, you know, because she was with someone that I trust or whatever that, you know, was a teenager. She's an actual senior in high school. So she was with someone that I can trust and around, but I was just so nerd. I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> She's actually getting up there and um, to the age where I, I can think about when I used to hang with my teenage cousins and they used to take me to football games with them and I don't know you guys so I just don't want to be too strict because I'm going to tell you some stuff I can remember about my and I'm since I'm doing my childhood trauma healing it was things that my mom would do and I'm not mad at her for it but she used to be too strict on me I felt about certain things like of course she let me do the football games my mom was not that strict like she let me did things but my mom was one of those moms that watched everything you are not going to pull any wolves, wool over her eyes type of shit. So, um, 
like when I my friends and they're hanging with their they're they're hanging out we're hanging out on the block or whatever in the hood you know because I grew up like I told you guys I grew up in the um the hood basically so we'll be hanging out they'll hang out on the block and everybody else is just chilling and laughing and joking and stuff and their mom is not thinking about them or whatever but my mom is gonna be like Nat <laughs> Nat I need you to come up closer I can't see you that's how my life was you guys and this is when I was like 12 13 years old I'm like mama like I used to be like mom don't nobody else mama do that you the only mama that's doing all that and she used to be like I don't give a fuck about what nobody else mama do you mind you know and I I used to feel so embarrassed. I was like, my mama, she be tripping, y'all. She be tripping. But then I had, but, but then when I started noticing my friends was getting pregnant and some of them was doing things that their mom didn't know they were doing and things. So I was just like, now that I'm in my adulthood, I, I can understand why my mom was like that. But back then I used to be like, come on now, mama, you're doing too much. Okay, you guys, give me one minute and I'll be right back okay you guys i am back but um so yeah my mom used to be like i don't care what nobody else mama say i'm your mama and i won't watch you i don't care so like if we go like we didn't stay in the same neighborhood as um like you know we we were in a we as her friends like we if i go she go visit her friends and you know they doing they, they friend girl thing they're drinking and having fun her friends could be just you know, doing them, having a good time. They not thinking about what we doing or nothing. Now my mom, like my mom was just like, Nick, what you doing? What's going on? You know, and so I just told myself, I wasn't going to be that, that strict on my baby, but I am strict now. I don't be playing about certain things. Like she can't do everything. Now certain things I'd be like, okay, um, I'm not really big on her spending night going to the spending night everywhere. Spending night, I want to spend a night. Can I spend a night with my friend? I'm not really big on that because that spending night stuff leads to you possibly being molested or or something happening to you because you don't know who people have been out of their house. Um, but but anyway, so last night I was just like, so should I give her like a a curfew? Should I tell her a certain time? Like I don't know, and I I mean I know I should give her a curfew now. I don't feel like 10 o'clock is too late. Um, but my my husband, he was like, when he got home, I mean, when he, he was, because he was coming in the same time she was coming in, he was like, who you with? Who you coming in with? <laughs> and he's like, you coming in with me? And I'm like, it's just 10, it's just 10 or whatever when she came in. And he was just like, no, she don't need to be out like that unless she's with you, you know? And I couldn't do anything but respect that because I understood where he's coming from on that. Because people are snatching up young ladies and women and you know sex trafficking, and he and he's very he's very protective over over us when it comes to certain things. So he was just like, "Who you was with?" You know. And she was like, "My friend, my friend." Da, 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 da. And he was just like, "Okay, why you didn't let your mama know you need a ride?" after the game because I mean you coming in at 10 but she was just like oh, let's, okay yes sir or whatever but so I just decided I was going to give her a key um well she already had a key to get in and out of the house but just just so she but she still needs to know I feel I feel a curfew at 10 o'clock is sufficient for her. She needs to be home by 10. Um, she's 12. She'll be 13. And that's enough time for her to, you know, have fun at the games, football games or whatever. And um, come on straight home. I just don't feel like she needs to be out too late. It's, it's, the only time I let her stay out at a later time than that is if I know she's going out with one of my older cousins that's like um, in her 20s or something and they, they took her out to eat or something and they went to movies or something like that because I know them, you know what I'm saying? I know they're adults. But her just, me just allowing her to just go out and just do, be out like that, I just, that's not something I'm, that's not something I'm used to doing and I'm not gonna be that type of mom. Cause I mean, 
but I just had to just say, like, I just realized that my baby is getting older, you guys, like, literally. Because she used to be the person that's in the bed watching the movies with me. You know, one of the little ones that's in the bed watching the movies with me. We watch the Disney movies all night long, eating junk food, you know. So, for her to go out with her friends to the movies, I was kind of like, mm, you know. But, um... So I got one more stop, then I'm going to the nail shop, you guys, and then I'm gonna go and um, hang with my mother-in-law. Well, actually, my friend, she wanted me to come out. We have, it's our uh, neighborhood anniversary. And um, they're having a picnic. But I don't know if I wanna do that. I don't know, we'll see. Cause I'm cruising, I'm roving, I'm roving, I'm cruising and roving. But yeah, so I'm going to PetSmart to go get this reptile light. I had to put a regular light bulb in there um, for him, for them today. And then I'm going to um, go home when I get home later and switch out the light bulb. I have to get, I may need to start buying doubling up on these light bulbs. So I'm just like, just bought this light bulb rather. But yeah, so yeah, that's what's been going on, you guys. I just... You know, just getting everything in order. Um, I'm gonna be back to talk to you guys about this these these planets being in retrograde and how you guys need to handle it because a lot of people are stressing out. You come on. A lot of people are stressing out about this and chill, you guys. It ain't that deep. Chill out, you know. Stop sweat stressing yourselves, getting yourself upset. Running about things that you cannot control, okay? I'll be right back. We're gonna run in here and get this reptile light, and then we're gonna chat it up a little bit more so I get to the nail shop, okay? Okay, you guys, I am back. Okay, so like I was talking about just a second ago, I was talking about the retrogrades that's going on in the different planets. The main one that every that worries everyone is the Mercury retrograde because of the glitching in communication, basically. How I I feel about it, it was just a download that I took in yesterday. Um, during my just spiritual, I was it wasn't a spiritual bath; it was just a regular bath. And after I do my regular bath, I do a meditation to just get some clarity. And the Most High was just like. You already put in all that work. You already been talking to me, listening to me, doing your prayer, your spiritual work, and working on your manifestation. And you also have been putting in the work to make sure it comes to this existence. So it's no need to worry about anything right now because worrying it's just like you ever heard that saying prayer, prayer with worry does not work how you gonna pray and, and say that you got faith but you worry so I was just like you know just gonna tell y'all don't worry this is not the first retrograde period we have been through since the, this planet has been going around and it's not going to be the last so instead of you worrying yourself silly putting yourself in an aspect of a state of mind like what am I going to do what am I going to do what am I going to do oh, that's too much <laughs> um, but instead of you doing that it's better and best for you to just focus on what you're doing for yourself. Just, you know, don't worry. Just be like, I know. I know what I got. I know what I got coming for me. You know, I'm not going to worry. God got me. I'm good. The universe got me. The most high got me. The source. Whatever, whatever your beliefs are, you're fine. So, this is a harvest full moon that just came in. So, you're you, you about to, to, 
everything you desire is coming to existence, sir, ma'am, ma'am, sir. All of it coming. It's coming for you. No need to worry. For what? Um. It's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of things is happening. Spiritual war going on, y'all. In every walk of life. Need you be Christian, Muslim, <laughs> um, whatever. If you if you have any type of beliefs in you, it's a spiritual war going on. Anyway, scientifically, hell, if you're a science, a science, Scientologist person, the person that believes in science, there's some shit going on right now, you guys. So we can't do nothing but just do what we do. That's all we can do. Um, stay, stay protected mentally, physically, and spiritually. Put in that work. That's all I can say, y'all. For real. Just put in that work. But, um, other than that, I have you guys to plan a birthday party. Miss Serenity is about to be the big five. Like, this, she's like, this is a big deal, mommy. <laughs> like, this is a big deal. Like, she's, she's making it be known. Like, this is a big deal. I'm about to be the big five. This is a big deal, you know. And so, um, Golden is turning two. So, instead of me doing the birthday party separately like I did last year, I'm going to do it together. And we're going to have a Halloween party. So, everybody's going to wear their costumes. I'm going to do something with Serenity separately the actual day of her birthday. And um, do the party together. But, they're going to have a cake together and everything. It's no big deal on that. I'm not going to stress myself about all that type of stuff, you know. Serena know her sister and her born at the same time. I mean, same one, so she's fine with that. But she's, you know, she's over the head lying about it because she's turning to be five. It's a big deal. <laughs> but all right, you guys, I am about to go in and get my toe soaked and painted. it. That's what I'm going to do. A fall color since it is fall. All right, peace out. What's up, you guys? I am back in the car done getting my toes done i didn't get any um video footage of me getting my toes done you guys because i told them that i didn't want gel i just wanted to polish these my nails just picked the color orange um so i couldn't really pull out my camera and do any recording my nails was wet but uh there's some pretty plants. I'm gonna have to go those plants. Um, anyway. So, I am heading to the other side of town. And see what everybody got going on. And, um, but yeah, so, uh, as far as everything I, I was just saying about The retrogrades and everything. Like everybody just not gotta stop worrying themselves. Like the unsgodly truth is as long as you know that you've been putting in work and you've been putting in good stuff and not doing anything negative, you won't gain anything negative. That's just that's just the only way I can say it. There's no other way around it. Like if you know you're not putting in any positive things if you know you've only been putting in negative energy into the universe you're going to harvest what you gain what you gave out point blank period to the point and that's just how it goes like i don't know any other way to put it around for people but everybody's just like i don't know i'm so worried about the retrograde and everything and, and if you do go through something slightly it's okay it's okay 
Um, but yeah, so. I know y'all looking at my back seat like, what's back there? Babe, car seat down there, which way? Um, yeah, I know. I'm gonna clean out my car tomorrow. It's not that bad back there. Um, when we went out of town, Trinity like laid her um her blanket in the back and made like a bed, like a sleeping area for herself. So, um, I just put gold into golden car seat and just put it back there out of the trunk. And I was supposed to be, you know, just getting all that stuff out of there. But I'm gonna do all that tomorrow. Ask my husband to do it, but uh, yeah. So, another thing I want to talk about a lot of people don't really like to talk about, and that is past life situations like. I don't really like knowing that um, it's a, a, a content creator I watch. I just found her name Alexis the, with the T or something like that. I'm going to, don't quote me on that. I'm going to tag her information at the bottom of the description. Remind myself in this video to do it. But she talks about how she does psychedelics to be able to just go back into her past lives and see what she needs to basically fix no handle um as far as in this life because she want to make sure when she's staying in transition from this life she wants to make sure that she don't have to come back and do earth again basically and so she's been going into her past lives and she said she's she's keep having um visions about how she has to protect us she she keeps having um thoughts that where she had to um, she was another creature under the water and so she has always been where she had to save humanity and she ended up getting murdered or whatnot. Um and I was just I was still watching her like watching her yesterday. Has anyone ever tried psychedelics? Speak of that. Have you ever tried them? I never tried a shroom a day in my life. But from what I heard, if you're trying to extend more into your spirituality, psychedelics really helps it. Me personally, I don't, I already <laughs> be having um, out of body experiences and that's projecting my dream. When I dream, I dream in parallel. Like I dream, I dream vivid, very vividly. So kind of afraid of taking the like because I feel like it's gonna do something to me. I don't know. I don't want to end up crazy. Um, but I know a lot of people that says they, they do they either went on a bad trip or it's, it's whatever whatever energy you are you're you're on that's what that's what the trip is gonna be for you when you do the shrooms or whatever. But um I don't know. I don't know about doing that. I've been thinking nervous at the same time because I don't want to be on a trip so bad that I can't come down and I gotta still be a mommy and all that stuff. I don't, I'm not really big on being too too much out of the present. Because in the present, in this present moment, I am a mommy. I have two little ones and I have a preteen daughter so I have to stay in the present. So a lot of times I try to keep myself grounded everybody else minds are everywhere else my mind is like that too i'm always worrying it's everywhere so i have to keep myself back centered bring my back bring myself back to balance back to alignment so so if i ever do a psych do a psychedelic i have to do it where where my children are not going to be any last thing of worrying or worry to me because that's probably what my whole trip is going to be about me trying to get back down to my kids you know <laughs> that's how that's one of the reasons why i don't smoke weed anymore because when i would smoke weed i would get paranoid because i'd be feeling like i'm shifting onto mars or somewhere else and i'm not 
things on on steady ground with my children. I don't know how to explain that. I, I just felt like I wasn't on a steady thing, steady path with my kids when I was high. Some moms can do it, but I just don't like doing it when I like when I went out of town to Vegas. You know, of course, I wanted to try marijuana to see what I could do as far as my anxiety. And they gave me an indica that was not too high. I was not feeling like I was on cloud. 300,000 to 500, 700,000 milliards away. <laughs> I was on planet Earth still. Um, and I, it, it, basically, it basically made me chill. I felt chill. I felt relaxed. So, if I ever do any weed again, I'd probably do that. But I don't really like the hybrid and all that stuff that everybody else doing. It's no for me. So, that's probably why I know I wouldn't really do that well with, with um, psychedelics. Because... But like I was saying about, uh, uh, I told y'all my mind go everywhere. That's one of the reasons why I don't be want <laughs> to do all this stuff. Um, but like I was saying about Alexis with the tea, um, she just talks about her experience. She she do her past life experience and she speaks to her higher self and she just wants to she does she wants to know what she, what she what her purpose was prior to this the life and life before and whatever. And. It kind of made me go like, hmm, do I want to have that type of reading done? It's called a hypnosis. Hmm, do I want to have that type of thing done? Because it kind of gets you to the understanding of what can cause. Because every person that's in your life at this moment was in your life in the past life and all this. They may have been a sister, brother, or something. They may not even been their mom. That's how crazy. They might have been not even been your mom or your dad. They might have been your sister and your brother. You know? Um... And you just have to see why, what is it, is it a trauma bond or what it is, what it could possibly be. Because a lot of times, people feel like they have to still be attached to certain people because either it's due to the fact that that person is your mom, your mother. Like if your mother is trauma and she's trauma and she's just giving you so much anxiety, she's giving you so much pain and hurt. I'm not saying you don't have to talk to your mom, but you, you may have to cut that, cut that cord because... She may be the person that's keeping you from ascending, you know? And then you have people that's holding on to relationships. They're thinking that this, this, as long as they keep it in their effort, it's going to work. Sometimes you may need to let go of that person because that person might have stopped you from ascending too. And then it goes on and 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 goes on and goes on and on and on and on and on and if you ever get a chance, just listen to her. Um, I don't want to... I don't really say... Cons I used to say conspiracy theories. But now I don't. It's like it's like a rabbit hole when you're, when you're looking into it now. Because back when I used to read up on conspiracies, um, look at look up stuff, read up on things, I had to literally, literally do the research, search for it, look for books, read it. You know, we, we had it. We didn't have it like you guys got it now. TikTok. TikTok is a rabbit hole. Like, I get caught in there. I'm not going to lie. I get caught into it sometimes. I just be scrolling, honey. They say, I be on that person's page and watch every video. And then I go to the next experience theory page and I watch every video. But a lot of things that they're talking about, I already knew about these things because I've been reading up on this stuff. I, like I told you guys when I was a child, I may not have been a scholar in school. May not have been top ten percent student. May not have been. May not have been a valedictorian or a salutatorian. But I love to gain knowledge. I learned. I love to learn about um, history. I also love to learn about. I like to research things. I didn't like anyone to just tell me something. I had to research it. You can just tell me this is something that happened and don't have any clarity on any any way to confirm these things are happening or ha has happened until I did my own further research and that's how I always been so you know so when I look at stuff on TikTok okay I look at the videos but I'm trying to I'm trying to get you guys to understand this just because someone says something and it sounds believable don't always just go, yeah, that's got to be true. And then run into it head first. 
without making sure you have a logical understanding or make sure that you have you have an aspect of it on your own because this is your life experience and that's just how I feel you know I listen to it and sometimes I get into it and I'm like okay I gotta research this stuff that's how I am so sometimes I listen to people and I be like that does sound right because it's something that they said really touched my inner self and was like my higher self and was like yeah that's 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 true because sometimes my higher self be like yeah that's the truth it's real she stay in a state of mind and listen to everybody else it's okay to get a vision of what it is but you come up with your own blueprint so yeah I just I was watching her all day yesterday and um what she says is it sounds kind of about what I have been looking into prior to now Say something is off. When I was a kid, I used to look, look at the sky all day long. My mom bought me telescopes, and I used to always look at the clouds and find shapes and try to see what was looking different, or something looking different. Does everybody else have these same things? And when we were at my daughter Serenity, she sometimes asked me the same question. I used to find myself asking my mom. You know. She likes to look at the sky. Mommy, why does this not look like this? Why does that tree not look like that tree? And why does this look like that? And the sun looks a little funny, mommy. This moon, do you see any stars? I don't see any stars. And I used to be the same way. Like, I used to ask my mom that same stuff. But, um, yeah, so.
until they did something to me. Now that's probably my problem. I do be like, oh, some get back stuff sometimes. Oh, you hit me, I'm gonna hit you back. You know, I'm gonna knock you out. I ain't gonna just hit you back, I'm gonna knock your ass cold, clean out. Instead of me trying to get back and get you back, I just get away from your ass. If I feel like anything about you is a negative entity or negative energy or negative intentions towards me, instead of me even letting you stay in my my world and my area so, I, so we won't have any problem with each other, I just go ahead and just move that player out of the play out of the playbook with me, basically. So you ain't even got to worry about being revengeful towards me because we're not going to be able to talk to each other no more. You ain't got to worry about me being a revengeful, revengeful towards you because we're not going to hang with each other no more. We're not going to talk to each other no more. We're not going to have nothing to do with each other. Because you 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 showing that you don't like me. you showing you got some evil intent towards me. So instead of me just, we're going to just move you out of the equation. That's the simplest thing you can do. I don't know how people sit here and be friends with people and talk to people that they know it knowingly. Yeah, she be talking about me behind my back. And he be, yeah, that nigga don't really fuck with me for real. And, and that's the shit I just be hearing people say. And I come into a situation with you and you just told me that you don't even fuck with these person for real. But they at your dinner table. Or they at, the, they at your house. Or they at your party. I'm confused. Why? <laughs> if you don't trust this person, you don't like this person, you know they don't like you for real, blah, 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 blah. Why are we even got them in your equation? But anyway, that's how people are. Um, But that's not how I am. If you show me an action that you don't really like me, you don't fuck with me, you if every time I talk to you, you you aggressive towards me, and try to make it seem like you just you that's just how you talk now, bitch. That's, that's, that's not just how you talk, baby girl, baby boy. I'm gonna let you go out here and get on about your life, go on about your business, cause you cause I'm wrong with your ass. You won't fucking snap out and fucking kill me. <laughs> And that's how it be, y'all. I'm telling you, these people be crazy. And they gotta get used to that. Because I was the only child. So I was always fucking with myself. I rock with myself harder than any other people in this world. Because I know me. You know? And and maybe that's what his issue is. I can't understand it. But I I don't get why you don't know how to fuck with yourself hard. And then even if you didn't want to sit down by yourself, you have technology. You have a phone. You go on social media and just look, stroll down your social media. You don't have to have people on your face all day long. Then you and your friends started getting to argue with each other. Because y'all niggas be sitting in each other's face all day. I'll be tired of you sitting in my face all day too. And vice versa. When women. Y'all want to go grocery shopping together. Y'all want to get your nails done together. Y'all want to go shop for y'all outfits together. Y'all want to go eat together. Y'all want to cook dinner for y'all families together. And then you wonder why the hell y'all be about to fight each other because of each other out there. Sometimes y'all end up fucking each other in. You don't need to do that. It's okay to be with your friends sometimes, but damn. I'm confused. I am so fucking confused. Is she done fuck your man? Or you That's how it usually falls down, y'all. And the first thing they say is, I had that bitch up in my house. We did everything together. Yeah. That's how it be happening. Because you don't have to do every fucking thing with nobody. Do some shit with yourself. I'll tell you something about my mama and my grandma. My mama, she used to be like, my mama, she used to go out. My mama liked to be friends all the time. She told her opposite me. My grandma, my grandma used to tell me, you don't keep no, you don't stay up in nobody's house all the fucking time. And you don't have no bitch in your house all the time. My grandma didn't say, bitch, you know, my grandma's like, you don't be in no woman's house all the time. And you don't let no woman be in your house all the time. That's what my grandma used to tell me. 
that shit stuck like butter to me. Stuck, stuck like sugar to, sugar to, sugar to the lemon drop. See me with my best friend, y'all see her on here. You see me with my cousin, y'all see them on here. Y'all see them. But y'all don't see me up under them all day, every day, like that. And vice versa. We ain't gonna step on each other all day. We do that. We have a good time with each other. This is true. But I don't have to sit up under them all day. And they don't have to sit up under me all day. And trust and believe me, they love me. And I love them too. But we don't got to sit up under each other all day. I love on me and I love on them. We have a good time together. And don't get me wrong. I used to go get my nails done all the time with my friends. And do stuff with my friends all the time. I used to do that. Um, we got to go shopping. I used to have to go to the mall with everybody. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. They used to be irritable to me. back Even back then, I love my friends. But some people don't like to do certain things when they need their nails done. All right, you guys. I have made it to the park. Let me see what it's talking about out here. I will be back. Peace.